The use of stops can be an amazing way to protect a position and close you out before you take on too great a loss. But how do we actually place stops on options within Weeble? That is exactly what we're going to be going over in today's video, and we're going to go through the entire process step by step. Now, just keep in mind that you'll generally want to use stops on only very liquid options since they could otherwise be activated just by a wide bid ask spread. So that means you could end up getting stopped out of your option, even though the trade hasn't necessarily moved against you. Now, once you're actually ready to place a stop on an option contract, we do actually have several different methods that I want to go over in today's video. So let's go ahead and get the simple one out of the way right off the bat. We're going to first go over how to place a stop on a brand new option trade that we haven't even bought yet. And we'll be doing this using the order entry tool right below my chart. To do this, the very first thing we're going to need to do is actually select the option that we intend to trade by coming up here to the option chain in the upper left hand corner. You can see here in this example, I am looking at the rocket options and let's say we were actually bullish on the stock and wanted to get a slightly out of the money call option. Now, in this case, it looks like a slightly out of the money call would be the eleven and a half dollar strike. And if I look to the left of it, I can currently see that option is going for four cents by six cents. In order to actually build out that opening trade to buy this eleven and a half dollar call, we will need to click on the current asking price. So I'm going to click on six cents here. We can then see that it immediately builds out the order ticket down at the very bottom right in our order entry window. So here we are going to fill out the opening trade just like any other order. So from left to right, it's telling us the strike price we're about to buy, the expiration. You can see here it is a call option. I'm buying one with a limit order at a price of six cents. Now, in my case, I do only want to buy one contract. I do want to use a limit order. And for this one, let's say I don't want to buy it now. I only want to buy it if it goes down to, let's say, four cents. The very last thing I could edit is right over here on the right hand side where it currently says time and force as a day order only. And I'm actually going to leave it as that saying if this trade does not fill by 4 p.m. today, just go ahead and cancel it. But that's going to be it for the opening trade. I'm only saying I want to buy one contract to rocket if it drops down to four cents. But once that trade actually fills, I want to stop to go in right behind it to get me out before I lose too much money. And in order for me to actually create that, I will come over here to the far left hand side of the order ticket in the little strategy column window. So right here where it says single option, we're going to go ahead and click on that drop down menu. You'll then notice a large menu appears right on top of that. And this is where you guys will generally come to create a spread within Weeble. But in our case, we're going to go to the very top where it currently says single option. We'll then see another little window appears on the right and we're going to come over there and select first trigger stop. Now, as soon as I click on that, you guys should notice that it opens up two separate sell tickets right below our opening trade. The first one here is going to be our stop loss order, while the second is a take profit order. In the example today, I didn't actually want a take profit order to go out behind my opening trade. So I'm going to come over here to the left hand side of it and deselect it. So now what I'm essentially saying is I want to buy the contract to rocket and then I only want to stop loss order to go out behind it. Now, once that's done, we could come over here to the far right hand side and actually specify the stop activation price. In this case, you can see I currently have a default of negative 20 percent. So I'm saying put in my stop 20 percent below wherever I buy it. If I were to come over here and change it back over to a dollar sign, we can see 20 percent below the current price would be three pennies. Now I could come in here and change that to whatever I want. I could change it to one penny saying if it ever drops down to one cent, get me out. But as you could also see, I could come over here to the dollar sign and flip it over to a specific percentage amount. So in this case, let's say I wanted to get stopped out if it dropped 50%. And you will notice that it is specifically negative 50%. And now if I were to come back over here to the percentage sign, we can see what a 50% offset would be. And hopefully we can all do that very simple math in our head. But right now that would be two pennies. Now, the only other thing I want to do is actually flip this stop order over from a day order to a good until cancel order. So now I'm essentially saying if this stop does not fill today, go out again tomorrow and the next day and the next day work indefinitely until I actually get stopped out. And hopefully I don't ever get stopped out, but it is protecting me indefinitely. But that's going to be it for this order ticket. What I'm essentially saying is I want to buy one of the eleven and a half dollar calls on Rocket if it ever drops down to four cents. Then if that ever happens, I want to get stopped out if it ever drops down to two cents because I don't want to lose more than two dollars on this trade. 
Now, I doubt any of you guys will actually be using a stop on a contract this low in price, but I don't have much money in my Weeble account, so we're going to have to use this as the example. Now, since I'm happy with it, I do in fact want to place this trade. We're simply going to come down here to the lower right and hit place order. You'll then notice that as soon as I click on it, a little order confirmation window comes up just to confirm everything we just filled out. So right here, it's saying I want to buy one of the Rocket $11.5 calls for four pennies. Then it's saying if that order fills, my stop order is going to go out there at two cents. Since it looks correct, I do want to come down here and select place order. And now the order has been submitted. And I can confirm that by coming over here to the far right hand side to my orders window. So right here, you can see it is an open order to buy this contract. I could also open it up on the chart page by coming up here and selecting the option contract. So I can just click on any of these columns right here. Once I do, that option contract is going to go in all of my windows. And now when I come up here to the chart page, I'm actually looking at a chart of that $11.5 call. So looking here in the lower right hand corner of my chart, I can see the open order to buy. And then once that fills, this stop is going to go out right behind it. I also have the ability to adjust those order tickets simply by clicking, holding down, and then dragging up or down to the price I want to adjust it to. So in this case, if I were to drop it down to one penny on the stop and I were to let go, you can again see another order confirmation box comes up saying, are you sure you want to adjust the stop down to a penny? And if I do, I would simply come over here and hit place order. Now, if I instead wanted to cancel this working order, I would simply come over here to the far right and click on that little X button on the right hand side. I'm then going to come up here and hit OK that I do in fact want to cancel it. And now both of those trades have been canceled. But that's going to be the slower and more methodical method using the order entry tool. But we could also come up here to the active trader tool and do the exact same thing, but much faster. Now, looking at the Active Trader tool right now, you can see that these buttons are specifically set up for stock right now. But if we wanted to add that exact same tool for an option contract, we could come up here to the menu in the upper right hand corner. From there, we're just going to go ahead and click on Active Trader Settings over here on the right hand side. Within that window, we can then see all of the buttons available to us over here on the left hand side. And all of the ones that we're using have a little blue check mark next to them. Now, remember, what I want to do is add a button to place that opening trade on the option and then immediately place a stop right behind it at a certain percentage target. So in order to do that, we will come down here to the options section and I'm going to find the one marked buy customize and check mark that one. I can then come over here to the right and actually set the parameters and the top section is going to be the opening parameters to actually buy the contract. So in this case, I do want my opening trade to be a limit order to buy one contract. I do actually want it to be based off the mid, so I'm going to leave that be. Coming over here to the right, I can actually set a limit offset if I wanted to. So that's going to be if you guys don't necessarily want to place a trade right at its current price, maybe you like to try and buy it a few cents below that. So let's say, for example, a contract is currently trading with a mid price of 20 cents. If I left this button B and I were to hit the buy button, I'm going to buy that contract right at its current midpoint of 20 cents. If I were to instead come up here to the limit offset and change this to, let's say, negative two cents here, so negative 0 0.02, what I'm now saying is I want my limit order to go in two cents below whatever the midpoint is. So again, if that contract was trading for 20 cents and I were to hit buy, my limit order is now going to go in at 18 cents, two cents below the current mid price. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that be and leave it set as a two cent offset. And now I can actually come down here and set the stop activation price. Now, since I only want the stop loss order to go out behind my opening trade, I'm only going to check mark this one and then set my percentage offset. So in this case, let's go ahead and highlight that. And I'm going to go ahead and make my stop let's say 10%. So now what I'm essentially saying is whenever I click this button I'm about to add, I want to buy one contract two cents below whatever the current mid price is. Then whenever that happens or if it ever happens, I then want to stop to go out right behind it 10% below whatever I buy it for. So in this case, I am happy with all the parameters that I set and I'm just going to come over here to the done button in the lower right hand corner. Now coming back up here to the active trader tool, I can actually see that brand new button that we just added. So now if we were to actually click on that and let me go ahead and do that so you guys can see what it looks like. You can now see the order confirmation window over here on the left hand side. Again, just confirming where these order tickets are going to go in at. And if I were to actually come down here and hit place order, we can now see both of those trading tickets right down here below. Now again, just like before, if I wanted to cancel this, I would simply hit the little X on the right hand side. 
then just confirm I do in fact want to cancel it. And there we go. Again, that is the much faster way to do exactly what we just did on the order entry window, but it's not as methodical. We can't put in a specific price like we could with the order entry tool. Again, the way that we added those buttons is just by coming up here to the little tools window in the upper right hand corner and opening up the active trader settings. Now, finally, the very last thing I wanted to cover really quickly is how to close out one of your current options positions with a stop. So something you already hold in the account. Now, in order to do that, it is actually pretty straightforward. We will simply go ahead and click away from this and actually come down to anywhere we have a positions window. So in my case, I've got it down here in the lower right hand corner. And if I select positions, you can see everything I'm holding in this account right now. Now, in this case, it's a little hard to see because I have my window so small. But in this case, you can see I've got a SoFi contract. And if I widen it out, you can see it is an eight and a half dollar call. In order to place the stop loss order right from the positions window, we will simply right click on the contract. From there, a little window will pop up and all we have to do is come down to the button marked close position. I'm then gonna come over here to the left hand side to this little window here and I'm just gonna select the very first one that says close in order entry. You'll notice that as soon as I click on that, it builds out a closing order ticket for my current option contract. So right here, it says I wanna sell that SoFi eight and a half dollar call with a limit price of three cents. But in our case, we do wanna use a stop order. So I'm gonna come over here to the limit price and adjust that over to a stop. I'm then gonna come up here and actually set my stop activation price. And for this one, let's say I wanted to get out if it ever dropped down to two cents. I'm also gonna come over here to the right to the time and force box and adjust that down from a day order to a good until cancel order. So now I'm essentially saying if my contract ever drops down to two cents, get me out immediately because I don't want to lose any more money. In this case, it looks good. So we'll just come down here and hit place order. We'll then just confirm in the order confirmation box that it does look correct. So we'll just go ahead and hit sell here. And now my order has been placed and I can either see that by coming over here to the orders window on the right, or I could actually flip this over to the SoFi chart by coming up here to SoFi and coming over here and selecting my option contract. So now coming back over here to the option chart, we can actually see my stop activation price right here at two cents. But hopefully after all of that, you all feel a lot more comfortable with how to place stops on options within Weeble. If you guys do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you guys are looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well. So go ahead and check that one out. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll catch you on the next video.